Hello and welcome to the Weekend Makeover video. I'm Martin Roberts and I've come along to Tina and James Phelps' home, where as you'll soon see, they could do with a bit of help. And just let me fill you in on the picture. Tina and James moved in here a couple of months ago and since then they've had most of the major structural work completed. But now Tina's eight months pregnant and James has got a lot of work commitments, so they're having great difficulty fitting the decorating in. We've brought along our designer, Helen Carey, who's going to help them to redecorate and make over three different rooms over the next three weekends. Well, they've already had some discussions about what they want to do with the rooms, but today's the day they have to make the final decisions. So while I take them out of the coffee, you take a look at how the rooms are right now. Um, we moved in about two months ago and um, it was previously owned by an old lady who lived here for about 70 years so we've got a lot of work to do. They're, they're nice big airy rooms. They are. Um, it's just decorative more than anything. Well. Been a We're going to do three rooms in three weekends. Sounds good. Let's start with the lounge, Helen. What kind of ideas okay. do you have? Well, basically you wanted to keep it quite light yeah. and not have anything too dark. Um, and we decided to just start with an ivory base just keep it quite plain I think I've got the ivory yeah there you can see like just just like that mm -hmm. and then I found this fantastic idea of these horizontal stripes oh, that's oh very nice yeah. lovely aren't they are they? very light as well mm. keep the color exactly light. interesting yeah. that's an interesting yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very interesting yes you think it looks hard to do it does, it's not because that's paint, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it does. Yeah. It's really mm. a bit weird. Well, it's not as hard <laughs> as weird, you that, might Alan. think. It's not weird. Anyway, um, you, saw, you talked about perhaps having some pinks and lilacs. Yeah, I thought that would be quite nice. Yeah, now, obviously, yeah. a bit much to be sitting in your room of an evening, completely pink room. I think. Yeah. So, if we started with the ivory base and did perhaps the lilac and marshmallow, but I think to lift it a bit, it'd be fantastic to do just a very fine line in this fresh mint colour. Green. <laughs> Mad, pink and green. Interesting idea, yeah. Another thing that would be nice to do would be perhaps some painted furniture. Oh. It has that, you know, the, like the Scandinavian, Swedish oh, yeah. style of painted yeah. furniture. Something like the little writing desk. Okay. okay. And if we put some shelves in, perhaps, so they wouldn't take too long to do. Yeah. I mean, you look yeah, in horror, got, like, oh, yeah. we've got a weekend. But just some very simple well, shelves. We need shelves, for shelves. sure, yeah. yeah. So that would be and we can use great. some of this decorative edging, you know, something like that, perhaps, just to to finish it off, which we can also paint in the same colours okay. as the table. So is this easy to do? Is this yeah, stick it on there? Yeah, shove it up. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. OK, so those are the ideas. I guess we need some materials, some paints and some whatever else we need. Can you come up with a list for us? I'll make you up a nice big shopping list and mm. uh, off you go. <laughs> I've got the list. Do you think one shot is going to be enough? The list is going to be enough. New from Black and Decker, it's uh, a screwdriver, a cordless drill, and also a jigsaw and a sander, all in one. This looks pretty like impressive. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you want to show it to us? What yeah. Do this would be pretty useful around the house. In the this is like James this. Bond gear, isn't it? Look at this. <laughs> I'm looking for a powerful shower. My husband has always wanted a powerful shower. That's a jigsaw Where, Where's well? Tina, by the way? Shouldn't we be... Uh... Oh, she's all right. T80SR is 8.5 kilowatts. Connects straight onto a cold mains water supply, and that way you don't have to have any stored hot water for it. Hi. Right. Is your husband here with you today, madam? Well, he's supposed to be, but uh, he's around somewhere else playing with power tools, believe it or not. So it's a three in one. It's a four in one, actually, because this four? is uh, a screwdriver and a drill. Any more batteries, 
just uh, buy some more batteries, they pop in and out, and it's all cordless. And they here. charge up here? Yeah, that's the charger, so three hours in that, and you're ready to go. Can we squeeze this into the budget, you think? Let's pop we'll pile a few things up on the trolley, you won't realise it's in there. <laughs> Now, this is a really brill idea. It's called the Design Wizard. Uh, Christine, can you tell us exactly what it does? Well, we can see the colours that you chose, and then we can move the colours around, and you can decide which colours you, you like. So what colours did we go for in the end? Uh, Lilac Whisper. The, the green mint. Green mint, mint yeah. yeah. I'm not sure about the green, actually, Tina. What do you think? We'll change it. Come... But what would Helen say? <laughs> What's the matter what she said? It's your room. Well, let's have a look, let's have a look at a different colour. What, what other colour? Um... You like blues, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Should we go back at Blue Monday? Yeah, should we try the Blue Monday? It's a lot easier than painting <laughs> the room yeah, than you don't like it. I like that wallpaper myself, actually. I think that's more <laughs> well, that's what it was thing, like actually. before we yeah. stripped it, you know. I think I prefer that, don't you? Yeah. Let's, let's go Great. for that, then. Thank you. Super. OK, Great. brilliant. Decision made. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. No problem. Beautiful. Right, that's the living room. Ivory white. So, while Tina and James finish getting their paint, we're going to take a short break. But straight after, we'll find out how they get on in the living room. Hi, hello. Hi, Mum. Do I look all right? Oh, you look gorgeous, hair, love. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Beautiful. Stunning. I feel so proud. The car's here! At Do It All, we want you to love where you live. The new 4-in-1 multi-sander from Black & Decker. One, it's a random orbital sander. Two, turn the key and it's a finishing sander. Three, it's a detail sander. And four, it's a really clever contour sander. The versatile four-in-one multi-sander, only from Black & Decker. Oh, yeah. Searching for ways to enhance the look and comfort of your home? Why not try this simple step? Philips Soft Tone. See your home in its best light. Look, there's my house. Right on the Great Western line. Alliance and Leicester sorted my mortgage. Capped rate. Ah, oh, capped rate. Like the stand of Lost in Living on the Bombing's True Mail Run. If I'm not mistaken, it's nothing to do with trains. It just means my mortgage repayments won't go above a set rate, but will come down if interest rates drop. It's just common sense, really. Nothing to do with trains. No. Not everyone appreciates the common sense side of things. But there is someone who does. Alliance and Leicester. Common sense in a crazy world. What is a mortgage, then? Well, it's like a narrow gauge, but more. Welcome back. Well, Tina and James have already put up lining paper and a coat of ivory white base colour in the living room in preparation for their weekend of decorating. So it's over to Helen to explain about the stripe effect. This is a fab thing. Rule a big ruler with a spirit level to make sure that we're getting the right level all the way around, marking up the stripes. Okay. Whatever you want to yeah. do, mark off your points. If you haven't got a fancy yeah. ruler, you can just tape a spirit yes. level to a piece of wood. <laughs> it's going to take a long time, but it must <laughs> take time to so get that right. Mm -hmm. So we start with a stripe. Okay. okay. So that's going to be a colour in that Which one. Which reduces so down to about uh, 20. Yeah. That's a big stripe. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think what we do is you mark them up. Yeah. You do a bit and see what you it looks like. It's the only way of knowing, isn't it? Yeah. And we've got to do this all the way around? No, you yeah. haven't. No, you just turn the rule around and use the spirit level. Oh, right. Draw it out. Okay. 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 So, <laughs> the law of physics is that as well, straight line. Look at that. Okay, well, we can start seeing it. Oh, wow. pretty apparent. Once the lines are drawn, you mask off the area you don't want to paint with tape. So, this top edge. Right next to... This is the piece we want to keep ivory. So this side of the pencil line, we're keeping the masking tape on. While Tina finishes masking, Helen and James are getting started on the writing desk by giving it a base coat of ivory white emulsion. Well, I think what we'll do is pick out some details around the edge and some of the other colours that we're using. Mm -hmm. Pinks and the lilacs yeah. and the blue. Okay, the blue, yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's and then good. maybe do something like mask off 
um, a section in the middle mm -hmm. and, and paint that maybe with the dragging technique. Yeah, sure. Make it up okay. as we go along, I think, yeah. the order of the day. Yeah. But just to sort of tie in with what we're going to do on the pelmet. You're giving this two coats of paint now. That's right. And we put some masking tape around yeah. here. What we've got here is this is the Lilac Whisper, the same colour that's on the walls. OK. 50-50 with water. OK, yeah. so we've thinned yeah. it down. Yeah, yeah. Have a practice on here. And it's pretty important I do practice before I... Definitely. OK. You want to go for the real thing? Should we give it a go? Go on, go for it. Do you think this is a bit runny or do you think... No, it's when it's dry. dry okay. If you decide it's too pale when it's dry, you could always give it another go. And I just keep doing it until I'm happy with my wishy-washy yeah, yeah. uh, look. Tina's using exactly the same colour washing technique for the wall stripes. Well, I've discovered that the, the best thing is not to have too much paint on the, the brush and it goes on a lot easier. And then you, you also reduce your chances of having drips too. Yeah. So uh, it's very, very easy. Brilliant. I need a bit more. The only thing is you paint. must keep going and finish this wall. Oh, right. If you stopped <laughs> halfway, complete disaster, hideous lines everywhere, so... You might think it's a bit mean making Tina do the whole room, but it's important that one person does the lot because different brush stroke styles will show. Go and see how James is getting on with his table. <laughs> OK, thank you. I think this is enough, actually, just this one line here. I think it'll be... Yeah, know, well, instead like of... embroidering the, yeah. your knickers, isn't it, doing that? You don't need yeah, to Yeah, it's that. probably a little, little, little bit fussy. So, have you done all those edges? Yeah, that's Great. just about done. Well, dust the drawer then. I'll put the kettle on. White, no <laughs> Time to take off the masking tape. Now, remember, don't leave it up too long or you might damage the paint underneath. Brilliant. Brilliant. Hey, easy. Love it. Are you pleased with that? Absolutely. I think it looks fantastic. What is this? <laughs> I thought you might say that. <laughs> it's a coach liner brush. Right. Now, you might have to search this out at a very sort of good DIY or decorating shop, but it's the sort of thing a sign writer might use. OK. But this gives a very flowy, smooth, lovely line. When I first started with the blue lines, I, I thought, I don't want to carry on doing this because I became very nervous. But I'm glad I, I carried on and persevered because I think it finishes the room off because beforehand the colour was a bit too wishy-washy and I think we needed that strong blue. So if you're going to do it at home, persevere and carry on. OK, right. Here it goes. Brilliant! <laughs> the trickiest part of the whole operation was the actual preparation, getting the line straight, getting the tape um, up with the line, making sure I wasn't sticking the tape down too far into the wall. But once that had been done and once I'd started slapping on the paint, it was completely easy. So that's my table, which I'm, which I'm quite proud of. Um, and the nice thing about it, it's got all the same colouring and uh, it's the ivory white and the, and the blue which we've got in the, in the living room. And it's done in the same, the same sort of wishy-washy style as, as Tina's done the room, so it's going to fit in really well. All the table needs now is a coat of clear matte varnish and a handle. It costs a little bit of money to buy, but the nice thing is you could choose more or less the style of the writing table that you wanted, and it comes blank, so you can do exactly what you want with it. I mean, the alternative is to go to a junk shop and try and um, get something uh, there, but you're going to spend quite a lot of time, I would imagine, looking for it, and then you've got to strip it down, prepare it and stuff, and um, to be honest with you, we, we found this much more convenient to do. Day two, and with the woodwork painted last night, James is using that four-in-one Black & Decker Quattro to fit the door handles. Meanwhile, help has arrived in the form of Tony the Handyman, who's getting started on the shelves. Tony, are those long enough? No, not really. You need two-inch screws, ideally. Long... Tony's fitting the shelf battens using a Black & Decker cordless drill, a handy tool that runs off rechargeable batteries and gives you a powerful drill and screwdriver <laughs> in one. When you put yeah. the shelf up, if, uh, you can't always assume that that side's parallel to that side, even though it's the level. It's almost... Yeah. Okay. Each shelf needs measuring individually, as the walls in older houses are rarely true. Timber there. Yeah. And then just mark this last one off like so. Oh, OK. Oh, look at that. With the shelves cut, we're ready to fit the edge trim. It's by Jarley from Do It All. No, no. it's not, no. Actually, it's the wrong way round, you know, because that's quite a bit better. I think it's 
think the secret is to keep it at a right angle to the water. There you go. Another top tip by Tony. <laughs> Not quite, it's come out the other end. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, we're, we're on the way. I think we're on the right track. While James starts painting the shelves, Tina and Tony are putting together the radiator cover. This is again by Jarley and arrives as a flat pack. It's not difficult to assemble yourself. A glue gun is a useful tool for this sort of thing, but you can get by without one. Just use a tube. We'll tap the hammer. Fancy a cup of tea, Tony? Oh, that'd be very nice, thank you. OK, I'll leave you to it. Whoops. Wow. Yeah, just slot this last bit in. God, that looks fantastic. Yeah, it looks very good, doesn't it? It's so quick as well. That's excellent. Look good when it's painted as well. Well, there's your tea. Yeah, I'd better thanks. go and get some paint. We're using the same ivory-white satin sheen paint as the living room woodwork. Start with the mouldings using a paintbrush. And then finish off with a gloss roller for a smooth finish. Gloss rollers are available from Do It All and are not expensive, so well worth investing in. And while Tina paints, Tony's putting up the fixings for the curtain track. <laughs> Helen's arrived. Paintbrush in hand. Yeah, where is James, by the way? <laughs> oh, up this ladder. <laughs> Probably sunbathing. Sunbathing or not, James's painted shelves are dry and ready to put up. What I really like about the shelves are these mouldings. I think they're really pretty and I, I, I think they match very well with the helmet on the top of the curtains. What I don't like are the battens and the fact you can see them underneath. I didn't think it was going to be like that. I wasn't too sure when Helen suggested that we have this radiator cover, but now it's all together. I think it's absolutely fantastic. These blinds are a clever idea. They pull upwards so you can use them like cafe net curtains. And now the finishing touch. People often forget about lighting, but it can really make a room. We're using lavender soft tone bulbs to gently enhance the subtle colours that we've used on the walls. All done. Well, that's it. Time's up. Let's see what the finished living room looks like. So, Martin, what do you think? Whoa! <laughs> Fantastic! <sighs> Have you secretly moved or something? <laughs> I can't believe this is the same room. I know, yeah. it's, it's brilliant. All doesn't Tina's it? handiwork. <laughs> Great job. I love, I love the feeling of sort of airiness in here without it being clinical, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, I think lovely. we did right with the blue, swapping the blue over f f from the green. You're glad you stuck with the blue? <laughs> when we first started, I thought it looked a bit pink, but once you start adding the curtains and, and the accessories and whatever, it, it really starts to take shape. Mm. Well, congratulations. Hard work, but it's really paid off. It's fantastic. Quick break time again, and after that, Tina and James will be having a go at the bathroom. Steady! Steady oh, wonderful! Well wonderful! Done, son. You've got it! Oh, wonderful. Oh, would you look at that? Steady, son! It's superb. Marvellous. What an achievement. <laughs> Des! Des, look! You're missing him! <laughs> At Do It All, we want you to love where you live. The new highly advanced Black & Decker Quattro isn't a drill, it's a really versatile jigsaw. No, wrong! It's a precision sander. Or is it a screwdriver? Answer, Quattro is DIY made easy. One tool, four functions in one hand. Quattro, only from Black & Decker. 
Try Ready Roll self adhesive borders for an exciting new dimension to interior design. The wide range of Ready Roll borders help you instantly transform any room in your house. No paste, no water, no backing paper, and no fuss. Just hang the border straight from the roll onto the wall. It's so simple, even joining a new length of border couldn't be easier. It gives an invisible match every time. The Ready Roll range includes everything you could want and a whole lot more. Ready Roll Self-Adhesive Borders, the simple solution for a whole new look. Searching for ways to enhance the look and comfort of your home? Why not try this simple step? Philips Soft Tone. See your home in its best light. It's our second weekend and on to the bathroom. Let's see what we discussed a couple of weeks ago. What about the bathroom? Now, how, how are you going to give inspiration to the bathroom? Well, firstly, those tiles. Mm. We are going They're to... lovely. Oh, I love them. <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to do is um, take away, you know, about a third of the tiles. All right. And then we're going to paint over them with a special tile mm. primer that you can get. OK, what colour? And just white. Okay. I haven't heard of that before, is that oh, new? Oh, it's quite a new product, yeah. And then we'll do a stamp effect on those. The other good thing about the bathroom is that we're going to go mad, aren't we, in the bathroom with yes. lots of blues. <laughs> what colour? Aquas and blues oh, and all yes. these. Look at these. These are going to be stunning. Like wow. an aquarium. Mm. Mm. And then above, where we've taken off the... What do you think about it? Yeah, no, I like that. You like I this? like the blue. Good. Yeah, yeah. Blue. it's my yeah. favourite yeah. colour, yeah. blue. So I'm happy and then with where we've taken off the, the tiles, we're going to put this wallpaper that has a slightly textured effect to it. Oh, very so nice. Yeah, that's great. It's going to look lovely. And then we're going yeah, to put this good. palmet up there with a, a very simple little blind that we can just tie up. And the other thing we're going to have fun with is there's a whole collection of um, bathroom blanks, which means just plain wooden things. So what about the floor? Are you going to keep the shag park up? Are you <laughs> going to keep that? Yeah, we want to keep that. <laughs> I because... think it might twist your arm into some nice ceramic tiles down there. Lovely. So it has that whole Mediterranean oh, feel to it. Nice. You've come up with some great ideas, Helen. What, what do you think about what she's talked about? Fantastic. It's terrific, yeah. So glad she's Maybe here. <laughs> Before the decorating started, James and Tina stripped the tiles off the wall and made good the plaster work. Then it was a matter of filling in any damaged tiles and rubbing them down once they've dried. To complete the transformation of the old tiles, Tina's putting on a coat of do-it-all tile primer. First with a brush to get into the grouting and then with a trusty gloss roller. Next, it's downstairs to join Helen and work on the free-to-style bathroom fittings. We just use an eggshell on these. It means we don't have to put a varnish over the top or anything like that. Sure. OK. So we're going to do it with um, dry brushing. So it's eggshell on eggshell? Yes, it is. And you won't need to varnish that or anything like that, so... OK. There you go. <laughs> Ooh! Thank you. But don't start in the middle or stop. Right. Just keep going. So not very much paint? No. No, because you can just keep going and do lots of layers. You don't have to. Great, that's, that's These free-to-style blanks are exclusively available from Do It All. What you do to decorate them will be all your own work. I could just see lovely, luxurious bottles of bar foil on there. <laughs> <laughs> Probably baby lotion. Yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get the roll of wallpaper so we can see that. But look, I think that goes... It's going to look really good with that. Diddy. Wow. Back in the bathroom, Helen started the stamping with this mosaic effect along the top border. What we've done, we haven't used a bought stamp for this one, but we've got some rubber foam, which is quite high density. Cut it into the shape we want. You can buy this from a foam supplier, just look in the yellow pages. And we've made this mosaic effect. So how's it going then, James? Yeah, okay? pretty good, thanks. I think we're, we're just about done now. Yeah. Um, Looks pretty good. The colour looks nice brilliant. Blue. The colour yeah. looks brilliant. So you're finding that wallpaper quite easy to, the, to do? Yeah, this paper seems to go on pretty well. It's a nice smooth Ooh. finish. 
Tell me about this paper, this is... Um... It's called All Burrito and yeah. it's washable vinyl one okay. from Mayfair. Always use a washable vinyl paper in the bathroom as it's easy to wipe down and won't start to peel off with the steam from hot baths and showers. So it's just a light... Yep. Dollar that paint. looks good. That okay. looks good. The printing with the stamps was um, incredibly easy. It was it was good fun and simple to do. All you literally needed to do was take the stamp, put it in the paint, just apply equal pressure when putting it on the wall. If they look a bit, little bit different, it's quite nice. Yeah, it shows definitely. that you've done hand done it. Oh, oh. that's not very bad. Very nice. Is it? Very nice indeed. You'll go, Tina. Tina's very competitive, so a bit of a competition broke out as to whose were the best, but um, I, I let her believe hers are the best because it makes her feel happy. Yeah, but... right. Okay. See if you can beat that. <laughs> I don't think that'll be too difficult. I did the shells and she did the starfish, so if anyone wants to come and have a look, they can make their own minds <laughs> up. <laughs> I might go for an easy one down here. Okay. That's all right. Oh, look ah, at that. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> look at that. Ooh. Oh, yeah, right. Well, do you want to do, take my one and pass it along? Yeah. It's quite a good idea to put paint on a piece of cardboard because the important thing is not to get paint around the edges there because if you do, then when you apply the pressure, it's messed up because you can't just see the pattern. The final thing to remember is not to let it get tacky and sticky because once it gets sticky, you have great difficulties pulling it off the wall and you don't get the pattern, so you have to wash it regularly. I loved it so much that I kept one of them. One of these which I'm going to use for my nursery. I'm going to use it either on blinds or a small chest or something. But they, they really are ideal and I recommend them. Tony's popped back to give James and Tina a hand cutting and laying the ceramic floor tiles. If you're using a tile cutter like this, make sure you follow the safety instructions to the letter. Onto the Black & Decker workmate to cut the window helmet. Yeah, slightly higher, maybe. How about them? Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Neat trick with the dustpan there. Yeah, that's great. That's fine. What are we going to do about a curtain? We're just going to have one that comes round, sort of. Now you're probably better off doing one straight pole from this wall straight across the window there. Always use a qualified fitter to install an electric shower. Brilliant. And you've got a variable spray head, like so. OK. So you can have a good shower with this one. Fantastic. For lighting, we've chosen an Ecotone globe. They last up to five years and use less electricity, saving you money. A new energy saver called Ambience is now available, which looks like an ordinary bulb. Well, they should have finished by now. Let's go and see what the bathroom looks like. Oh, whoa. This is a bit different, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I mean, this is the room where, that I'm most pleased with, for sure. Why? Uh, well, this is where we, we've completely changed the tiles. Because we're literally on the verge of, of getting it retiled, and then we, uh, Helen came up with this idea, so we gave it a go, and it's, uh, yeah, we're really, really pleased with it. So what about all this wood? Mm. Yeah, well, now that's, that's <laughs> Tina's favourite, yeah. Yeah, this is all distressed. I painted it myself, base coat, and then put a dry brush over, and it just looks fantastic. So, it really fits into the, the colours the, match, don't they? And yeah. the flavour is mm. very um, what's it called? Watery and Mediterranean. Yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's the look we went for. They were very so happy. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations! It looks Thank beautiful. you. Thank you. All the weekends work. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, well done. What a clever girl. Smile, darling. At Do It All, we want you to love where you live. Black & Decker have just made DIY easier with the revolutionary cordless VersaPak system. So now, just one set of rechargeable batteries powers the whole VersaPak range. And when you want extra tools, you save money because you don't need extra charges and batteries. The new VersaPak system, guaranteed for two years, only from Black & Decker. Oh, yeah. Searching for ways to enhance the look and comfort of your home? Why not try this simple step? Philips Soft Tone. See your home in its best light. Nice stick, Gavin. No? Yes, thanks to my alliance and less to money back credit card. You bought it with a credit card? No, I bought it with cash. I got back from using my credit card. I got these nifty little bells, too. Oh, hello. Cash! <laughs> I'm just collecting points business with A&L. I got what I really wanted. Quite the village gal about, aren't we? A bit like marsh dancing, really. Always best use a bit of common. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone appreciates the common sense side of things. But there is someone who does. Yeah. Alliance and Leicester. Common sense in a crazy world. It's our last weekend, so let's have a look at the original discussion about the bedroom. We had a smallish mm. double bedroom and a box room, and uh -huh. we've, had, we've had the wall knocked through, so we've got a nice large bay window and a, a smaller side window. And what we plan to do is something very light and clean yeah. with wooden yeah. floors, so that oh, it's very natural looking. I think that would be lovely. How about we do something like this Mexican straw colour here as a base? And then I had this idea of doing big squares, maybe about a foot, that sort of size, yeah. and using silk motion, just okay. these slightly contrasting colours. So they're all... So there'll be a bit of a sheen. Yes, there, exactly. Right? How dark will that, will that make the room, though? Oh, I don't think it will at all. We don't want loads of them. Just mm. maybe a few round where the bed head is. How big are these squares? About a foot. About like that, I imagine. Okay. So what about the window? What ideas have you got for that? Right, well, I think because the rest of the room's being quite plain. It's nice to have a focus. If we started off with the blinds, just plain white simple blinds, and then we thought we'd do a layer of sheer, something like these, that could just hang. Oh, wow. They could either hang there all the time or you could get these little clips now that you can Ooh. clip them back with. Okay. Yeah? Does this, does so this coordinate with the colours that. that we've got? Yeah, look, this fab, is beautiful. And then I think we'll make some really fantastic, very, very full curtains, perhaps with just simple plain white sheeting. Yeah. With the rest yeah. of the room being that'd quite be nice. plain. Yeah, we'll keep the room light and airy, so mm. that'd, yeah. that'd, that'd be nice. Well, Alan, you come up with some great ideas there. Well, where'd, where'd you get them from? Well, when I'm looking for ideas, I go through magazines like Inspirations and find, you know, ideas that I like and tear them out and stick them all in a big box. When I'm doing something, I trawl through the whole lot and pull out things that I think would be nice. Before decorating, James is using the Black & Decker 4-in-1 sander to prepare the walls. James! Hey! Hi! Hey, how are you going? I'm fine, how are you going on? Pretty good, just sanding this down. James has decided to cross-line for a smoother finish, first of all hanging the lining paper across the wall, then dropping a second layer downwards. Once that's done and dried, Tina can start painting. We're using a Mexican straw emulsion as the base colour in this room, and when she's finished, Helen and James can get on with the paint effects. What we've got is this template here yeah. that we're going to attach to the wall and basically paint inside it, take it away. It's like a big stencil. There you go. So we want that at the centre of that. Right. 22 and a half. Was it? Right. If I fold it up and you step back, you can get an idea of what, you, what it's going to look like. It's what we were talking about the other weekend when we were saying about you must keep stepping back from what you're doing. Yeah, to make sure. sure. No, that, that looks about right to me. In fact, that's something I wanted to ask you. Where, where did you get the stencil from? I just cut this out of a piece of foam board. OK, so now we've got to make sure it's absolutely straight. Absolutely, so we're yes. going to use our spirit level again for yeah, that. Yeah. So if I put that on the corner there, it wants to sort of be in line with that, so it's going yeah. to drop on the left. Right. Can you do that? that? Looks about perfect. So if we push down... It'll annoy you it. when you're lying in your bed forever if it's not straight <laughs> <laughs> okay. OK, we don't need to go mad pushing this stuff down. Yeah. I don't want to... Uh, are you sure that's straight? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, satisfied that's straight. I want to check it again, because I don't know, it looks... Shall I? Yeah, yeah. 
pick the first colour to go in the middle. What do you think? Well, I'd quite like choice? to go for the, um, the one on the left. This colour, this yeah. mustard seed colour. Yeah, the mustard seed. Now, shall we have that one matte or shiny or silk? I, th I think in the middle I'd quite like to have a matte. Yeah. Now, we've gone for the matte here. If, when it's dry, you think, hmm, it's actually a bit too subtle or whatever, or you rather have the silk, it's easy enough. We can just reposition it and put the silk colour over the top. Now, you can just take this mask straight off. You don't have Once to leave it to dry. It. Yeah. Okay. As long as you haven't done the paint too thickly. Yeah, it's good sure. colour. Hopefully mm -hmm. I haven't. OK. Oh, see, got a okay, splodgy bit there. Got to tidy that bit up. Yeah, I'll well, just because obviously it's left a bit of a texture there, which we don't want to have. So what did I do wrong? Okay, well, apart from having too much paint on the brush, yeah, I think if perhaps the other times you hold the edges of the stencil down, the edges okay, near where really you paint it, in as yeah, going yeah, that will really help as well. And then all you do to make that good, mm -hmm. get um, not your best ruler <laughs> up against okay. it. And you can just paint that in up against there and lift okay. that off very carefully. So if we use that chocolate shape, that little one there, that's yep. the, the silky motion one. OK. It's very, very subtle, that colour. But because it's nearer the window, you will actually pick, pick up, up the, the line, line, just reflect a bit yeah, of light. Sure. No, probably, yeah. Oh, look at that, brilliant. Oh, I'll take it all back. <laughs> yeah, I'm really, really pleased with the way it looks, actually. Um, uh, Helen let me choose the colours, so we decided not, not only the colours, but also the finish. So we've got, we went for silk here and silk there, which is nice because, uh, as we found out afterwards, it catches the light nicely off the, off the window. James has repeated the same effect on the opposite wall above the bed. And to round things off, Tony the handyman's been back to help James hang the mosquito net over the bed and put up the curtain rail. Finally, some peach soft-toned bulbs bring out the warmth of the colours in the room. Well, Sunday evening's here again. Let's see what they've managed to do with the bedroom. James, another great job. Yep, that's, uh, that was my speciality. What do you think? Oh, that? the squares. Yeah. These were the famous squares. They're yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Did you have any problems with uh, getting this? No, so... no, I got it right first time. The trick is not too much paint on your brush. <laughs> <laughs> no drips either. That's brilliant. No, no drips. No, no, no drips. First time. Got it right first time. No, I love the colour too. And it's mm. just, it just all blends in mm. really well. Mm. And there's some more over there too. Yeah, yeah, Ooh. on the other side. <laughs> Very fetching to you. <laughs> Very you nice. Mean? Yeah. Take this a... is Helen's idea, by the way. Yeah, you're taking a well deserved rest, yeah. I see. Yeah. It? yeah. Well, we f I felt like I needed it after all, uh, all our hard work. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. But yeah. the windows, I, I think, are the most. I love. Are the yeah. most fetching the in window. here. The okay. window. I, I don't know about the mosquitoes, but listen, I think we, we deserve to celebrate. Let's go and join Helen in the garden and uh, drink to the success of this project. Yeah. Okay. We deserve it. Thank <laughs> okay. you. Three yeah. weekends on even. We're exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon then? Are you uh, how's we're it tired? Out? We're, 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 we're happy. We're, we're satisfied, aren't we? Yeah. 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 A, uh... I mean, when you sat down there, you know, four weeks ago now, what, mm. when you looked at what Helen put on the on the table, what did you think? You know, we, we sort of saw that saw what colour the walls would be and the curtains and stuff. But when you actually see it all together, it's it, it's um, it is it is good. But the actual techniques and such were yeah. straightforward. So you've got to about. Five more rooms to do. Are they going to be the next <laughs> five <laughs> weekends, or are you going to give us a break? We'll, we'll, we'll probably have a baby first, and then we'll, we'll worry yeah, about that. Yeah, we've got that. the baby next week, so, <laughs> so we've yeah. got our nursery to sort out even more.
in between now, so uh, oh. say hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, while they're planning that, you take a look at the fact sheet we've put together containing information on everything we've covered in this video. It's on the screen quite quickly, so hit your pause key and freeze frame to get that information off. And if you are planning some decorating in the coming weeks, I hope we've given you some inspirations. <laughs> right, well done, guys. Cheers. 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 Thank you, Helen. One final thing, a week after we finished filming, Tina gave birth to a little boy who they've called William. Mum and baby are doing well and Dad's hard at work decorating that nursery. The fact sheet's coming up in a moment. It's very fast, so don't forget, use your pause button to access any information you want. <laughs>